just even this last week, uh, mm. the Secretary of Agriculture deregulated genetically engineered right. alfalfa, and we've we're actually uh, friends of the court in the Supreme Court case against genetically engineered alfalfa, and you know that's why you know that's one of the reasons we want to be verified non-GMO and get invite everybody else in the industry to become verified <coughs> excuse me. Um, because these threats are getting bigger and bigger. 86% of our corn is genetically modified in this country, 93% of the soybeans and alfalfa is I think the fourth largest crop in the country. So we need to have uh, labeling of genetically engineered food so that consumers can make the choice whether to buy it or not. Most, most of our consumers don't want genetically engineered food. It's in close to 80% of the food now. Mm -hmm. The message is that we need to work as a community to make our food system work, our, um, the quality, the integrity of our food as well as our farms. And we need everybody everybody working towards us. We have challenges all the time with uh, companies that want to profit off of genetically engineered food, um, doing things that are maybe cheaper and easier to do, but it's not, people need to be willing to pay the true cost of what food, food really costs to produce that is quality and is nurturing for, for them and their families.